One angry Igbo man. <laughs> Don't come outside though. Come blast at the Haji. Asari Dokoba over his numerous threat and the hate speech against the Igbos. <laughs> As he be like this now, nah, this man don't give him back to back to Asari Dokobo and also say that if they put Pigo, come put Asari Dokobo <laughs> join together. Ingo choose Pigo because Asari Dokobo is already the person where them by where they walk and they talk. <laughs> he said that one no no in left and right to as he be like this now the man give him what to to for this video. However, let us look other things where they happen around as he be like this. They say for Naja Dekta. <laughs> Some of those people, when they do bunker, don't come outside. They can't tell the public, say, may they not look them as bad people because now then they will make it easier for some Nigerians. He say many fish stations they go kerosene. Say now them, they supply kerosene, they give the fish stations. <laughs> he also went ahead and said that the government are busy stealing all the whole oil in the deep sea with uh, in the sea with uh, a large ship. And they will come and tell you people that is them that is causing the problem. Why is the government? <laughs> My people, we don't read though. We will play you the video. May you see how it they happen for that area. Hmm. There's one information and update where they get our hand right now as so they talk. Now before inside Niger State, they say that the Nigerian military don't go there. Go they catch some Igbos where the Igbos will get resident for inside that area. And the cause why did they arrest the whole Igbos for inside the area? No answer has been given to the Ohanes and Igbo and Igbo in general. So this was made known by um, by a barrister, if I in Jofo. They say that the thousands of the Igbos has been arrested in Niger State. My people, now so they happen now we will say more bring them. I want me to go look into the videos of things where they happen. I beg me try to share this video and make sure see they follow this channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well so that you will get our update. Turn the notification bell so that you get our update back to back. We're there for TikTok everywhere. <laughs> My wonderful people, I beg I want you to watch this video. The moment where this angry man don't give him a salad of Kubo, watch the video before we come back and continue. Voting, security vote. You are voting to Nubu or Peter B. Is it is insane? Nonsense everywhere. Nonsense. And let me remind you, the owner of Lagos is above Benin, whether you like it or not. The first up of Lagos is Benin man. I don't know where you come from or Sioux State, a kitty state, or no state, but the Republic. To come and claim Lagos. Those people who are claiming Lagos is a street kid, uh, Aboros. The owner of Lagos, after Benin, is Igbos. Forget about this pig living in a, in a, in a, in a, in a call, Asara Dokobo, who is already dead. Nobody should talk to that one. That one to say, hey, Iba must guy, Iba must guy. Foolish man. His money is finished. It was out you. Are you not insulting Tunubu before? Now you are singing some praises, singing like a, a bird, calling Ibo to, to go so that Tunubu will give you money. He will never give you money, he will die and rot it. You, you, Sarah Dokobo, a, a, a useless man. Today I'm Ibo, tomorrow I'm not Ibo, tomorrow my father is Ibo, tomorrow my father is no longer Ibo. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Mazen Nandekani forgive me, I'm Igbo. Tomorrow, uh, don't forgive Mazen Nandekani. You are a, you are a, a hooligan. You are a fool. You are a baboon. Gorilla is better than Sarah Dokobo. Pig. If you see pig and see Asara Dokobo, key Asara Dokobo before you keep pig. Because that one is pig. And it's dangerous pig that carry all kind of disease. It's pig who are living in the dirty. Normal pig, they train that pig, give them injection, remove sickness from those pigs. But as I read, the pig is the one that in a, in a gutter, eating shit, eating all kind of rubbish. Uh, my God, is a dead person. As I read, you are a dead person and shame on you. I thank you. The good thing of the Igbo people is that they don't know how to do your woman talk because we we'll call it a woman talk. When you don't have a work, you start looking for somebody to accuse or something to talk or one nonsense to prove right. So, but when we start our own, we cannot stop. That is one thing with our own. So you can push us, push us. 
will keep you quiet or we can laugh you as well and say this one don't know what he's saying but when we serious to talk to you just watch let the Igbo start the same thing as Ari Dokubo are doing you will see all that Nigeria the Euro, especially the Yoruba media see Yoruba people hmm. the Yoruba media don't, don't join them be beneath people some Finnish beneath people don't even join them for this matter you will see somebody now will come aside and say eh, Igbo has started attacking Asari Ari Dokubo eh, that is how they do but you are not see you go to Asari Ari Dokubo page throw from beginning to that what is in topic is Igbos. It costs Igbo. It costs everybody in Igbo land. Igbo do this. Igbo is a criminal. Igbo is this one. Igbo is the other one. That is all message Asari Dokobo are sending. And the, the Bini people are putting it in their page to show uh, uh, this one or the other one in this current saga they are doing. But we are not good in that. But when we start, bro, we don't stop. This is who we are. We we'll fight to finish. We we'll don't fight in the middle of road. When you think you are tired, that time we we'll get more energy. This is one secret about the Igbo people. You guys do not know. That is why they they do anything to marginalize us in government. You understand? To marginalize us in political. But in terms of our free, maybe uh, what we can do, it cannot stop us from becoming the billionaires. It can't stop us from acquiring the wealth. It cannot stop us. There's one video that I want to address in this uh, this thing today. I won when I was in Abuja, I have a friend from Hausa. So at a point of time, this guy say he love East so much that he want to live in East. And I said to him, Look, I have a land. If you if you want a place you can build a house, I will give you the place free. Because the guy, as of that time, helped me to get a land in Abuja and I paid just little money. I paid just little money for the land because he is, he is one of their family land. So he helped me to get the place that I put one room. So, but do you know that this guy refused that offer? I said, no, say uh, maybe we can get a place he can use stick and build and do the inside well and stay there. That when you want to go, you leave it and go. You see the mindset of the people called one Nigerian. And some people will come outside and say, Igbo don't want to sell their land. Igbo don't want to give out their property. Igbo don't want to sell their land. They, nobody is buying. Who told you that? Did you go there to buy and they say no, they will not sell to you? The answer is no. So um, let me bring you this video and hear the message where the Niger data don't send and give President uh, Ahmed Tunumbu, President of Nigeria. Just watch the video. I am not thief. I am a businessman. You guys contribute largely to crude oil theft, and then the nation is losing so much of its wealth. For me, I am not thief. What about those are using vessels, mother vessels from the ocean, loading? I am just taking a little jerry cans. This is jerry can. For whatever I am seeing there, those are saying this. They are using biro to thief. They are the people even contributing from those bunkers. Our own, this is not bunkery. We are just doing, we are supplying a uh, kerosene to the filling station. No filling station, no place they have kerosene. And the government does not matter. What about the north? They are doing their gold, doing this. What, they, what will they call those people? Okay, those people are not thief. Because when the poor man do, they say thief. But when the rich man do, they call embezzlement. There is no job in this Nigeria. Niger Delta, we are suffering. Since we are suffering, this oil is our own. What if the federal government, you know, makes an attempt to employ you? Would you quit this job? What kind of job do they want to employ me for first? This thing I'm doing is okay for me. It's okay to my people. The people that are given job now, most of them now, today they've not paid them. Uh, university lecturers, they are on strike. They want to give me a job. What kind of is it the job you give me? Then you not pay me. We don't care whether we die. Like me, I don't care. The whole of Nigeria, you cannot see kerosene to buy. We, the Niger Delta boys, are the one producing kerosene and supplying the filling station. If you give us the opportunity, we will do more. Then they say they want to stop bunker. How? Are they giving us job? 
Yeah, welcome back, my wonderful people. This is the same Nanda Delta that Asari Dokuba and Tompolo are protecting. Even they are even working for the government so that people will not take the oil. But when you go to Nanda Delta today, <laughs> even the people who don't even have any resources in their land are better than in the area. Are even are better than that area. Why the area that have the resources, the north are claiming their Nigeria, they're enjoying from. Don't even have anything. The gold in Safara, I be mind secretly. Nigerians are not even talking about it. Your problem is Igbo. Your problem is Igbo. Let me tell you, if Igbos are your problem, this message is for Yorubas, for the Benins, for any other tribe that hate the Igbos. If the Igbos is your problem, you will die thinking of Igbo. The day you will die, that you will be thinking of Igbo, and you will just you will just buy yourself. Because you are thinking of Igbos. You will keep on hating on the Igbo while the Igbos are busy thinking in uh, the thing they are going to create, how they are going to build their wealth and live for their children. So their children will not be in the streets like the Anamajuris in the north today. Upon the people who claim everything, who hold anything, who hold all powers. But there you get the highest beggars today. And the people you are denying something are people that is being is being progressed that tongue did it give you a sign that this is a god own people and god choosing people that is who the Igbos are the real and the true israelite when they are talking of the jews the real and true of them that is who they are so god never forsake them no matter what when we go somewhere where we pray is god let the land let this land bless me and as i'm touching this land let him bless me let him let him add value to my life and i'm going to add value to the way i am this is who we are so to those who hear the ebos who are busy on social media on TikTok, sit down especially all those women who don't have work in italy in europe who sit down every day to talk about the Igbo. my message for you is that you can never be better than the Igbos. your family your generation your relative your entire lineage will never be better than the Igbos. Igbos is good all choosing people and god have blessed them and nothing you can do about it so for those who hate Igbos, we love you it cannot change it keep on hurting it will be your end Guys, please share this video as it hurts.